Hello everyone and welcome to the Raging Ape Gaming Channel. Uh, we're going to be starting this off with a bang, I guess. Uh, we're going to be getting right in some Mortal Kombat 1. Had a little I'm issue getting it started a, a little bit here. Of time. My next task was to restart history. Sorry, went squirrely there. I had a little trouble getting it started here, but we're here Not now. Let's see what he's events. got to say. I was free to craft a new era. Mortal Kombat. It was with humility and restraint. And I approach this blank canvas. After careful preparation, I began work, painting over the darkness. After eons passed, I sketched out the realms. After eons more, I brushed them in with life. In my new era, all beings will have the opportunity to find peace. Whether or not they do, will be their responsibility. Hmm. For my power only permits me to begin this endeavor. It is the duty of mortals to finish it. Hmm. I think it's gonna drop us right into it. I was blaring like the Mortal Kombat theme song for a thing this morning, so I'm amped to play. We'll keep the subtitles on for everybody. Here we go. Mortal Kombat! My friends, your patience is about to be rewarded. For I have saved the best for last. I have recently discovered a cure-all of unrivaled potency. That's Shang Tsung. It will soon be on the shelves in every home of Outworld. That's Shang Tsung. This elixir is crafted oh, from an ancient recipe. It has Patreon flowers, Margovian nectar, powdered teeth of an Arctican dragon. All this and more, infused with powerful Lycorian magic. There is a village in the next canton over, where everyone has purchased this miracle cure. Overnight, all diseases, even Tarkat, have disappeared. Now, magic this potent is expensive. And I am sure you're asking yourselves, can I afford it? But the true question you must ask is, can I afford to be without it? You lie, Shang Tsung. I knew it. Your cures are useless. No, it was Shang Tsung. Who are you? Well, who's this guy? I'm sorry. You are... Someone fool enough to have believed you! My daughter was dying when you came to my farm. You promised a miracle, and I gave you all I had. But only days later... She was dead. <laughs> that is impossible. My magic could not have failed her. There was no magic! I took your elixir to an Imperial mage, and you know what she said? Hmm? It's nothing! Just Borjang tea! The mage is mistaken, kind sir. My elixirs are of superior quality. Their efficacy is guaranteed. <laughs> I had the mighty have fallen. Water folk are far more likely to trust a kindly old man. Here on behalf of a dissatisfied customer. Yeah, if it's I'm revenge so. you want, have at it. 
If it's restitution, there's nothing left. What I want, Shang Tsung, is to elevate you. To make you the great sorcerer that now you can only pretend to be. Is that Chronicle? Sorcerer. Why me? You are uniquely resilient. Who else could eke out a living traveling Outworld's hinterlands, selling quack cures and fake magic? <laughs> a living? It is barely survival. And you were meant for more. To live among kings, not peasants. But since before you were born, you have been conspired against by those who fear how formidable you could become. How do you know this? Who are you? I am your deliverer, Shang Tsung. Join me, and I will put the realms at your feet. That was Chronica, I believe. Kung Lao. Uh, this is a good harvest, Kung Lao. Yes. <clears throat> it is a blessing, Raiden. Oh, that's Raiden. Cool. You would rather we starve? No, no, of course not. But we've worked these fields since we were kids. In 40 years, we'll still be here. Stooped and feeble like old man Wei. No. <laughs> <laughs> as long as I've known you, you've dreamed of leaving Fengjian. Why can't you be happy here? Our ancestors fought in great wars. They died with honor and glory. Stories of our great adventures? <laughs> will be passed down for generations. They sure will. It may not be glorious, but what we do helps the village thrive. I know. It's weird seeing is it Raiden so not be want some excitement? like all If that's what you powerful want, may I suggest a bet? Dinner at Madame Bo's tonight. Last to fill their cart pays. You work faster than me? <laughs> Since when? You're on, Raiden. But it is good to see that he's got a simple life compared to what he had before. By the way, just for the heads up, if there's like silence here now, me talking very little, it's only going to get worse when Spider-Man comes out next month. We are going to blow the channel up that with is this, that game. I am starving. And there'll probably be very little talking Madame because Bo it is, is like, tonight. I am ready for that game. For you two, whatever you want. I've already pre-ordered the deluxe Thank edition, you, the whole nine yards. You and that thing pre-ordered for like three like months Like the now. sons I never had. Have you two been practicing my lessons? As we can. The harvest leaves us little time for martial arts. Since your first words, Kung Lao, you've mouthed nothing Ooh. but excuses. If you fail to prepare... Your preparations will fail you. Uh -oh. Good. You haven't forgotten. But we'll see if I make you anything special tonight. Oh. I'm glad you're paying. Madame Bo might just pad the bill with her anger. <laughs> I am paying? You finished work last. But I delivered my cart first. Delivered? Huh. The bet was filled. That's not what I remember. So that's how it is, eh? What do you say we settle this man to man? Hmm? Oh, we actually get some combat. Let's go. <laughs> Wait, you mean fight? Yes. Right here, right now. Madame Bo can watch, critique our form. Best two out of three? Fair enough. We must be careful. Madame Bo will kick us out if we break something. <laughs> oh, this won't last long enough for that to happen. You will be down in no time. Fight! Whoa, hello.
got to get the combos up there. That stuff was glitchy as all get out. I'm definitely gonna have to do some tweaking. You haven't beaten me yet. The day's coming, come now. <laughs> Keep telling yourself that. You were hungry. <clears throat> oh, <laughs> everything was delicious, Madame Bo. Thank you, Raiden. You boys are always a pleasure to cook for. Uh-oh. Madam Bo, the Lin Kuei await your answer. Uh-oh. Sub-Zero. I have been busy, Smoke. Oh, okay. My bad. The Lin Kuei? Who are they? Don't know, but I don't like where this is going. What do we do? Stay ready. Madam Bo. It is a simple choice. Pay for our protection, or risk harm to this fine establishment. You'll get nothing from me. That, Madame Bo, is unfortunate. <laughs> oh, not the old lady. Oh, oh God. Madame Bo! Poor old lady. You two are brave, but against us, you are in over your head. We don't care who you are or who you are with. You will not menace Matt Bone. Fight. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> 
Hello. Goodbye. Oh, hello. Hey, go. Not bad. Now who's in over his head? Just wait till I get a hold of Scorpion. That, that that's my guy. Like I could tear some people up with Scorpion. This was you? Honestly, I'm surprised too. Come on, let's help Madame Bo. Oh, there's Sub Zero. There's Scorpion. Okay. Three for you stand. How does he do that? I have no idea. You interfere with Lin Kuei business. Leave or face our wrath. Abandon Madame Bo. Not happening. Uh -oh. oh man. Get over here. <laughs> there it is. Ow. Want more? I have plenty. You should have fled when you could. Prepare to regret ever crossing the fight. <laughs> Try out the fatal blow. Yeah, cool. It is you who will regret crossing me. Before I put you down like the rest of your Lin Kuei. You haven't a prayer against the Lin Kuei's Grand Master. Fight. Okay, let's do it. Could do that, but I'm not gonna spam it. I hate it when the, I hate it when other players do that crap. <laughs> Sorry, but I have to ask. Can any of you Uh-oh. 
finally get to see one. I mean, it's all me, but it's still cool. Oh! Oh, it's always so brutal the first time you see it. Not bad. Are you sure you're a grandmaster? <laughs> Interesting. Hang Lao, over here. No. Madam Bo, she 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 no mo. Madam Madam Bo no mo. She's out cold. Oh okay. Oh she's... no, is she dead? <laughs> Not yet. <laughs> that caught me off guard. Madam Bo, how are you, Hang Lao? Oh, wait a minute. Is that, uh... Ooh! Oh, nice. So, Madame Bo, are they ready? A bit thick in the head, perhaps. But they are ready. Liu Kang. His eyes are glowing. I am Lord Liu Kang, God of Fire, and Protector of Earthrealm. God? Earthrealm? Madame Bo has been preparing you for this moment since you were boys. Today, you have proven worthy of joining my champions. This fight was... a test? Of your ability and character, yes. Li Ha, Kuai Liang. So they look so good. Like, I, so like, these two are just thugs. Look great. The Lin Kuei is a centuries-old clan dedicated to Earthrealm's defense. That's cool. You keep saying Earthrealm. Don't you mean Earth? You boys have so much to learn. Earth is only a part of Earthrealm. Earthrealm itself is one of many realms. Together, they comprise the whole of the universe. The realms can be fierce, bitter rivals. That's why we need champions to defend ours. The time draws near for the Grand Martial Arts Tournament between Earthrealm and the Realm of Outworld. Held once each century, it allows each realm to demonstrate its strength. While our realms are at peace, there are Outworlders who would prefer us to be at war. Our victory in the tournament will temper their zeal. I've taught you everything I can. You must finish your training with Lord Liu Kang. More training? These two couldn't defeat us. <laughs> <laughs> what? They were pulling their punches. Had we not held back, you would not have survived. Come. The monks at the Wuxi Academy await to continue your tutelage. I am ready, Lord Liu Kang. And you, Raiden? Li Feng Jian? I'm needed here. Earth it's gotta be weird for Liu Kang to be talking You'll to best serve the village Kung Lao I one and of Raiden its champions. after like I so much stuff that they went Excellent. through. I will like they're the same soon. but completely different. First, there are other champions I must gather. So it's gotta be weird for him. That's awesome. Who's up next? Oh, Johnny Cage. Let's go. We're off the map. We should go back, recheck the route. It's this way. We must be on the set of a movie. Why does he look like Indiana Jones? Like instead of a machete, he should have a whip. Lovely. God damn it, Alessia. The 
darts yeah, came from here. Can you open it? Without killing us? <laughs> Let's hope so. His voice is much deeper than in the last game. Turn them off. And we're definitely getting warmer. Hmm. How are these still burning? Oil bubbles up from the ground. The chamber channels it somehow. Sounds like Yuri Lowenthal. So? There's metal in the floor. That's not just any metal. It's liquid mercury. Shit, that stuff's toxic. Fatal. That's what toxic Only means. Only step where I step. Did I say? I'm sorry. I... Not now. Get out the explosives. Our bridge? Do this right, it'll fall across. Oh, hello. Oh, what? That actually Bloody scared mom. me. They're real? Keep working. I'll take care of the sheep beasts. Much better. Ping Lao was slow. I have so had enough of you. Time to die, crazy lady. You okay? Yes, we ready? Physics for the win. Let's go. And now it's on fire. Oh, no, yeah, that's a girl, sir. 
Never mind. This'll be worth millions. It belongs in a museum. That's an Indiana Jones. Whoa. Oh. And Adam gone. Adam. Adam did. Now where's that shield? I'm not yet defeated. Yes, you are. <laughs> That's some Captain America type stuff right there. Time to go home. Cut, Freddy. I knew it. Oh, I felt that one. You felt it too, right? Temple of Kataravala, take 39, tail slate. That's a wrap. <laughs> Steven, this was fantastic. Thank you. <laughs> oh, just like the old days. And these props. Jimbo killed it. <laughs> you did too, Johnny. Hey, uh, about my pitch, you know, the karate zombie thing? I'm thinking four films, maybe a streaming series. Johnny, I don't have- You're right. Not here. I'll swing by your office after I change. Mm, I can't. Uh, have to be with the editors. Marsha will call you. No, she won't. Great. Have your assistant call me. That was great, hon. Wasn't it, though? We need to celebrate. I'm thinking private party. But, Johnny, we need to talk. Mm -mm. You're not the martial arts megastar you once were, honey. You're lucky Steven owed you a favor. I'm telling you, Chris, we're fine. Can you join me in the fact-based universe just once? We're broke. We have to cut back. Cut back? On what? Step one is still in this place. Mm. I need a refill. Johnny, we can't keep this up. You spent 10000 on that sculpture, 30000 on that drone, and this damn sword. Three million dollars? Hey, Cento is history. That sword comes from... Ugh, that's not the point, Johnny! Chris, honey, the parts, the money, they're coming. Steven's movie is just the beginning. That's why I can't cut back. To be a success, I have to project it. If I don't, Johnny Cage is done. Mm -mm. 
I didn't marry Johnny Cage. I married John Carlton. I'd give anything to have him back. Oh, Chris. Come on, Chris, where are you going? Fuck! How do you like that, Mr. A-List? Thank God. Oh, Chris, honey, I... Mm -mm. Where's my wife? What did you... Your wife left. She's fine. You will be too, if you cooperate. What do you want? Sento. You some kind of hired gun? Or do you know Sento's history? I know it. It's my family, Blade. Oh. No. No. They've been dead for centuries. Not dead. Hiding. Sento with my hands. Lead us out of depths. That's a great plan, stranger. Except for one thing. Sento's mine. And I won't give it up without a fight. Fight! Oh, oh, oh. Alright, that combo. Understood. Kenshi Takahashi. <laughs> I knew you weren't Tyra Clan. You know nothing, Cage. 400 years ago, the Tyra Clan were one of Japan's first families. They lost Sento after getting slaughtered at the siege of Aomori. There were survivors. They hid themselves by shedding the name Tyra for Takahashi. They joined the Bakuto for its protection. The Yakuza's predecessors. From first family, to crime family. I will break us free of the Yakuza's corruption, reclaim our name and our position. But my clan won't follow me unless I prove that I can lead. Mm. That's why I need Sento. And that's Malibu's finest. It's a great story. Bullshit. <laughs> but great. You should seriously consider becoming a screenwriter. Yep, I figured that. What in the actual fuck? Good evening, Johnny Cage. I am Liu Kang, protector of Earthrealm. May we enter? Uh, nothing's being shot here tonight. Uh, you sure you're in the right place? Yes. We come on a matter of grave importance. We must speak to you and your guest. What? How do you know about him? Because I am the god of fire. Mm. Chris, you vixen. Nicely done. Sure. I, I come right in. Glowing eyes are a nice touch. Kenshi Takahashi. A tragic figure with a noble cause. Your actions this evening do you no credit. Who are these people? You tell me, they're your scene partners. I also know of Monstrum's Johnny Cage. I am here to offer you both a path forward. Dun, dun, dun.
Dawn. <laughs> oh, come on, guys, let's call this. Chris was a doll to set this up, but as pranks go, this one's a bit obvious. This is no prank. Bihar, Kualiye, if you please. All right, all right. <laughs> I'll play my part in this uh, martial arts LARP. The missus ought to get what you paid for. Ah. <clears throat> okay. <clears throat> hey, you. Uh, wait, wait. Hey, you. Get your damn hands off him. I said, get your hands off him. <laughs> Was that necessary, brother? To put oh, him they're in brothers his place. now. That was a Hichuli. One of a kind. All right, I don't care if this is a damn prank. You cross the line. Here we go. Fight. Dang on. And scene. I hope you're insured because you're paying for my hachuli. Imbecile. You have no idea with whom you're dealing. Enough. Ah. Uh, that's no special effect. Man, Indeed, no duh. Johnny Cage. Quiet, Yang. Okay, let's go back to one here. Who are you again? Lord Liu Kang, protector of Earthrealm, god of fire. Well, that last one tracks, but what's an Earthrealm? All will be explained, Johnny Cage. For now, what is important is that you both have been chosen to join its champions. Why him? Or me, for that matter. Because I have faith that you will rise to the challenge. And because your service will change the arcs of your lives. good idea it is genius Raiden the next time we see Sub-Zero I will have to thank him for inspiring it Ow. see it won't be effective maybe it's too effective <laughs> uh, we just need to get on with it we've been cooped up here for months I can't base a cinematic universe on Outworld's monsters and magic if I don't ever see them. That's why you're here? Liu Kang said this gig would change the arc of my life. That's how it gets done. My aunt's will rue the day she gave up on me. <sighs> so selfless. Oh, please, Tattoo. You're just here to get your sword back. We all have our reasons for being here. Some better than others. 
But we are not here to fight among ourselves. We are here to fight for Earthrealm. It's about damn time. And today, one of you will be chosen to fight for it at the tournament. Only one of us, Lord Liu Kang? Isn't Outworld fielding several champions? The tournament's rules give the host realm that advantage. And it is Outworld's turn as host. You know, I don't know why I've never asked this, but, uh... <laughs> what's our record at this tournament? Earthrealm and Outworld have long been evenly matched. But Outworld is gaining strength. Should it win, its more militant factions will be emboldened. I thought you admired Outworld. It is a place of great knowledge, wealth, and beauty. But our realms do not share goals and beliefs. We coexist peacefully, because Outworld respects our strength. Should we show weakness, our rival will become our enemy. I will not lose, Lord Liu Kang. First, you must win the right to represent us. Whichever one of you outlasts the others will be chosen. Mm. Okay. Raiden, step forward. Well, I think we know where this is going. <laughs> Good call. Call the weak first. You shall face him, Johnny Cage. <laughs> Ready for your close up? All right, let's do this. But remember, farm boy, I'm a global martial arts icon. I don't think you can handle this much boom. I am ready, Johnny Cage. My mind and spirit fight as one. Fight! <laughs> I like Johnny Cage's fight style more than anything. It's much more fluid, you can combo. This fight was an honor. You're welcome. Kenshi Takahashi, you are next. You have skills, Raiden, but you're inexperienced. Whatever experience I lack, I make up for in heart. It's nerve, not heart, that wins fights. I should know. I've been in hundreds of them. Fight! Okay.
Do you still question my nerve? I do not. Yours was a well-earned victory. Rest, Raiden. This evening, you will face your final opponent. Fifty bucks says Kung Lao wins. Make it interesting. Bet me Sento. <laughs> <laughs> Not on your life. Raiden, Kung Lao. The winner of this match will represent Earthrealm against Outworld. It is a grave duty, not to be undertaken lightly. You may step back now and suffer no dishonor. I choose to fight, Lord Liu Kang. As do I. Then may the best person win. <laughs> Concede, Raiden. You have never beaten me. That won't change today. No. If the monks have taught us one thing, it's that the only constant in the universe is change. Fight! Not that all. There is first time for everything, Kung Lao. Although you have all trained well, Raiden has excelled. This outcome does not surprise me. How could I have? Congratulations, Raiden. For the tournament, you will need this. Forged by the Elder Gods, it gives the wearer power over lightning and thunder. They always get this power. Go it's ahead. Cool. Try it. Necessary? In addition to possessing great might, the Outworlders you will face also wield great magic. The amulet levels the playing field. You must be careful, Raiden. You could get hurt, even killed. No tournament participant has ever been grievously injured or killed. <laughs> I would never send my champions unwittingly into mortal combat. We leave in seven days for Outworld's capital, Sundo. The tournament will be held at the palace of Empress Sindel. Outworld can be both alien and intoxicating to Earthrealmers. Do not become drawn in. You must focus on the task at hand. Yeah. 
game really does look beautiful. Not even fine. Like, it looks great. After the stream, I'll better be doing some optimization to get the uh, FPS up a bit higher. I have a feeling we're not in Kansas anymore. Uh oh. Oh my. Are those Empress Sindel's daughters? Yes. They do not disappoint. We are Earthrealm's ambassadors, Johnny. We'll show them respect, not unwanted attention. <laughs> Lord Liu Kang, welcome. Thank you, Princess Melina. You remember my sister? Of course, Princess Kitana. May I introduce Johnny Cage, Kung Lao, Kenshi Takahashi, and Earthrealm's champion, Raiden. I hope you're prepared, Raiden. Our champions are determined to win. None more so than me. It's been too long since we've known victory. Princess Melina, we should be on our way. Empress Sindel awaits. Thank you, Tanya. Follow me, please. Six-armed beings are not Nodens. The monks described them, but seeing them in person? I see that Her Majesty once again spares no expense on the festival. Should she not? It commemorates my late father. I admire, Princess. I do not judge. As did all of Outworld, I valued greatly Jared's fellowship. <laughs> Our route was to be clear. This couldn't wait. Should I allow Tarkatans to infect the city, Your Highness? Those arrested were harboring some here, rather than report them for quarantine. The Earth Realmers cannot be privy to our secrets, Li Mei. As Sundo's first constable, you must show better judgment. Perhaps that's too much to expect. Mm. Princess Melina doesn't seem to like her very much. Li Mei used to lead the Umgadi, the palace guard. It was on her watch that the princess's father was murdered. Oh. Worry expends energy for no purpose, Raiden. But the tournament, if I lose... Focus on your actions, not the outcome. It is all you can control. Who is he? Red alert. Incoming stock villain. <laughs> General Shaw. Do not let him go to you. <laughs> is it me? Or is Earth Realm's champion scrawnier than usual? Would you care to test his strength? Raiden will will prove himself soon enough. Have you still not told most Earth Realmers that Outworld exists? It is safer that way, General. I suppose so. Your people's frail minds couldn't handle the truth. You presume them frail, General. Should you, given how frequently they win this tournament? <laughs> we will destroy your champion, Liu Kang. He will taste no victory.
Welcome, members of the Royal House. Welcome, our esteemed Earthrealm guests. We gather once again to honor my late husband's legacy. To continue the tournament that he founded with Lord Liu Kang, in hopes that it would foster peace among realms. May Jared's soul watch over us with pride from its resting place in the living forest. Lord Liu Kang. Empress Sindel, it pleases me to once again be your guest. Here, you are always welcome. Now, let us meet your champion. Earthrealm's champion is Raiden, your majesty. He has earned his place by embodying the very best qualities of Earthrealm's people. You seem nervous, young man. I'm a stranger in an unfamiliar land, here to compete against its greatest fighters. Yes, I am nervous. <laughs> As you should be, you have a difficult path ahead. It has begun. As tradition requires, Outworld's initial competitor will be Sundo's first constable, Li Mei. May she defend our realm's glory, as well as she preserves our capital's order. Your Majesty, I will honor both the Royal House and all of Outworld with my combat. If so, you will vastly exceed my expectations. Remember, were it not for Jared's tradition, you would not be here. Mm. All you need do is your best. The rest will take care of itself. Yes, Lord Liu Kang. Shall we see what you can do? Hopefully, this will be the first of many victories. I will prevail, Earthrealmer. This mm. fight is more important to me than you can ever know. Fight! Holy crap, yeah, got that just by the skin of my teeth, that's awesome. Thank you for the match, First Constable. My compliments, Raiden, on a well-fought match. We'll see how you fare in the next. General Shao, whom have you chosen as our next competitor? Your Majesty, I have chosen Reiko, my second in command. As a boy, Reiko was orphaned during the Kafala War. Though captured, his spirit remained unbroken. He scratched, clawed, and survived. After the war, I took him in molded him into the perfect soldier. Few others are as well versed in the ways of war. <laughs>
In whose army have you served? In what wars have you fought? I have done neither. Then you are woefully unprepared, Earthrealmer. This will be your last battlefield. Fight! <laughs> Got it. Felled by a simple farmer. I am ready for my next opponent, Your Majesty. Whom shall I face? Patience, young man. We are adjourned until first light. I hope to see you all at this evening's banquet. Cool with that, I think. I think um, we're going to go ahead and end the stream here. Uh, we'll pick up again tomorrow, same time, 6.30. Um, we continuing with Mortal Kombat 1. Cool deal. Let me just go to get on out of here. I'm going to do a little bit better on getting like the, the FPS up, because I was a bit jagged and not even going to lie. But either way, uh, thank you for tuning in again. We're going to be streaming again tomorrow and Thursday. We won't be streaming Friday, but Saturday might do an extended uh, stream of Mortal Kombat 1. All right, thank you for tuning in, and until next time, peace.